Hi guys, Mr. Newmobile here. OnePlus 9 leaks latest update. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The OnePlus 9 to be the next top phone to come from the company, after the recent unveiling of the OnePlus 8T well, that is unless the OnePlus Nord Lite beats it to the punch. We can't help but look to the future, to the handset we'd expect OnePlus will launch as its main device for 2021. The OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro were great phones, but not perfect ones. That's why we've come up with this wish list of features and changes we'd like to see in the new model. We haven't heard a single leak or rumor regarding the device, because its launch is likely a long way off, but that's part of the reason we've come up with this list now. We aren't being influenced by what news and rumors suggest the phone could be like it's all our own wish list. We haven't heard any release information for the OnePlus 9, but like many phone makers, OnePlus is a company of habit, so we'd expect the launch to be around April or May 2021. OnePlus typically teases its phones in advance of the launch though, so maybe the state of the phone will likely be a week or two after the launch. That said, one source has told Android Central that the OnePlus 9 will be launching earlier than expected in March 2021. An exact date isn't clear from that source, but this is our best information yet. In terms of price, that's hard to tell, especially because each successive OnePlus phone creeps into the premium pricing territory more and more, and because the OnePlus Nord means the OnePlus 9 doesn't need to cater to people on a smaller budget. The OnePlus 8 started at $699 and went up to $799 for more RAM and storage, and the OnePlus 8 Pro started at $899 and went up to $999. Those are some high prices not Samsung Galaxy S level eye-watering costs, but pricier than OnePlus phones used to be. And given the Nord wasn't a thing when the 8 series was launched, we could see the OnePlus 9 phones get pricier than that. The OnePlus 8 Pro has wireless charging, but don't opt for the Pro, and you're losing the feature, which isn't great for people who want a more affordable handset, but still want the, the case because the OnePlus 8 Pro was the first phone from the company with the cordless charging tech, and it was just testing the feature out if so, maybe the OnePlus 9 will have wireless charging, as well as its Pro sibling. Here's another piece of tech the OnePlus 8 didn't have, but the 8 Pro did a telephoto camera. This allows you to take optical zoom pictures, closing the distance without losing any resolution. Zoomed-in shots are arguably more useful than ultra-wide ones, so it's not ideal that many companies including OnePlus prefer to use the ultra-wide lenses, but not telephoto for less premium devices. For full photography potential, we'd like to see the OnePlus 9 have a telephoto and ultra-wide camera, not just one or the other though if it's got to drop one, at least keep the telephoto. The OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro have 48 MP main cameras. Since many other companies have 64 MP and even 108 MP snappers, this feels a little low res, and we'd like to see some improvement. Sure, resolution isn't the only factor that dictates how good a smartphone picture is, as pixel size can be important, but the OnePlus 8 didn't have ones have, so it missed out on this advantage. We'd like to see the OnePlus 9, or even just the 9 Pro, have a high-res main camera, or maybe just a primary snapper with bigger pixels to take better snaps. The OnePlus Nord has two selfie cameras, so you can take standard or wide-angle snaps of yourself and friends. We'd like to see this kind of thing brought over to the OnePlus 9, because it can give you a lot of versatility in selfies. The second front-facing camera wouldn't necessarily need to have a wide field of view, some dual selfie camera phones have the main snapper joined by a depth sensor for improved bokeh or background effects. There have only been a few phones with 4K screens, and they all come from Sony, with recent examples being the Sony's Spiri 1 and Spiri 1 2 Dot, no other company has tried to make this kind of super high-res display for a phone. Sure, a 4K display is rather unnecessary in most situations, and the 2K of the OnePlus 8 Pro generally is enough for most people. But a Pro phone shouldn't be for everyone, and by definition it has a more limited appeal anyway, so the, P the OnePlus 8 had a 4300 mAh battery, which went up to 4510 mAh in the OnePlus 8 Pro. 5000 mAh batteries in phones aren't uncommon though, as such a size ensures the phone will last as long as possible between charges. If the phone has top specs, like a 108 MP main sensor or 4K screen, as the OnePlus 9 of our dreams would have, it needs a big battery to cope. Even if the phone doesn't end up having these high specs, bigger is always better for batteries, as it generally increases the life. Well, that is guys, please subscribe, like the video, comment and